We do begin tonight with new information surrounding Daniel Holtzclaw's appeal. He is the former Oklahoma City police officer, of course, serving life in prison for sexually abusing women while on duty. News 9's Tiffany Liu is live from the Court of Criminal Appeals with the very latest on this. Tiffany? That's right, Kelly Amanda. In my hand are the documents that were sealed and kept a secret until today. June 26th and 27th this year, a secret hearing was held in Judge Timothy Henderson's courtroom. Surveillance video shows who attended, but all the details were sealed. The public wants to know what were the findings by this judge, and we yet have to find that out. We only knew it was regarding Daniel Holtzclaw's appeal and that leaders of the police department's forensic lab were there. Today, though, new documents show the hearing was regarding a personnel investigation, which by Oklahoma law can be kept confidential. I think it has to be in regards to Elaine Taylor, the, the chemist that was uh, involved in this case, and was, was uh, central to this investigation as far as the evidence against Holtzclaw. She's the former Oklahoma City Police Department chemist assigned to this case. Taylor retired days after the appeal was filed. And now is that a coincidence? I don't know. But then the second factor that's suspicious is that when News 9 applied to get her emails, those were deleted. On July 5th, we requested for Taylor's emails from the city, only to be told they had already been deleted. Holtzclaw's attorneys are concerned those emails could be critical in the appeal. But the court order states those claims are unsubstantiated. Still, as counsel is worried, additional evidence may be destroyed if swift action is not taken. If there's something that wasn't done properly, if it's not, if it's tainted, could this throw the whole thing out and start over? Yes, it could. How Taylor's personnel file ties into Holt's Claw's appeal, if at all, is not clear, since the actual details of the hearing remain sealed. The issue I have with the whole thing right now is the secrecy. And of course, we're going to keep our eye out for any more documents that come unsealed. Reporting live on the scene on the story in Oklahoma City, Tiffany Liu, News 9.